My name's Tony Pipe. I'm Professor of Robotics at UE Bristol and we've been working with colleagues from the University of Sheffield and the University of Bristol for some years on the interface between nature and engineering. This particular robot here, Shrewbot, is, is uh, modelled on the uh, rodent world, the shrew and rats, that use a sense of touch which is very sensitive uh, for finding out things about the world. Um, if you imagine a setting where there is uh, vision is, is, is not useful because uh, there are a lot of particles in the air, perhaps in a smoke-filled room, in a fire or some such thing, then uh, a sense of touch could be extremely useful. Two areas that we've already uh, been working on and, and have gained interest in already is working with fire brigades who uh, often find themselves in, in uh, large fires, like in warehouse fires, in situations where vision is actually greatly impaired, there's a lot of deep smoke and they end up having to walk around feeling their way around the, uh, and, and often can get lost and that can be temp potentially dangerous for them, let alone them not finding the things they're supposed to find in the building. Um, so having robots that could, had a sense of touch that could act as guides or to f discover things that the, that the fire, firemen or firewomen might not find uh, could be extremely useful. The reason we're basing a lot of this research on uh, on what is already known or what, or what can be discovered from nature is because there's an existence proof out there. Shrews in particular, the pygmy shrew for example is only about that long and it goes out there hunting uh, crickets that are about the same size as itself and it catches those crickets and uh, disables them and it eats them almost entirely by using its whiskers. It doesn't use vision, it doesn't use sound, it just uses its whiskers and it's very efficient. We're not trying to re reinvent the shrew but there's a great deal that can be learnt there.